Hello and welcome to analyticshub.io. My name is Shilpin Patel. Today we're going to go over COVID-19 Georgia report. And let's face it, the entire world is going through such a dire situation where we all find helpless and locked down in our homes, hoping that this invisible enemy will go away soon. But as I speak, COVID-19 has still dominated the entire world. And my heart goes out to those who have lost loved ones fighting with this invisible enemy. And I also deeply appreciate those who are fighting at the front line, being our nurses, doctors, and other service workers who keep working hard every day for all of us. So I'm deeply grateful for their hard work and dedication. So to do our little part in this difficult time, analyticshub.io will host a full day workshop to raise fund for COVID-19 charity and we will donate an entire amount to a charity. So if you like what we teach, please stay tuned and support us to help for such a great cause that we all care for. So today I want to walk you through COVID-19 dashboard that I built in ClickSense. I'm not going to build it, but I'll walk you through the parts of the dashboard so that you understand how I built it. And hopefully it will inspire you to create one on your own. All right, so let's jump right in. Okay, so this is the app overview in ClickSense and I'm using April 20 release. I'm truly excited about this release. So I'm gonna show you some of the features that I've used. So let's start with the first sheet. So here, of course, the focus is on the map and I have created several layers and I'm going to show you that. But before we get too deep into this dashboard, let's first look at the source. My data source is from Georgia Department of Health and Human Services. They're updating the site daily, and I intend to pull records from their site daily. As of now, I have not automated, but that's my intent. So with that, let's look at the application. So as I said, this is April 20 release. And in this release, they have added button. And button can have actions, can have certain triggers. So I have used buttons to change dimension on the fly. So on the right hand side, I have two pie charts and a bar chart. So when I click on gender, for instance, it shows all three visualizations with the dimension of gender. If I select on age, it is dynamically changing the dimension to age for all three charts. If you notice, it also is changing the title dynamically. So I'm using dollar sign expansion there with a the variable, nothing magical there, but I thought this is quite useful feature since now I can use these buttons and triggers to sort of cycle through dimensions since we don't have cyclic dimensions yet in ClickSense. And of course I can click on underlying conditions and I can visualize charts for that. Now as far as the map, I have three layers. So let's edit that to see the layers. So the area layer shows Georgia shape and, and the trick there is that for the location I'm using geo reduced geometry and then the area geo points to reduce geometry so that the focus is on the state of Georgia where I live. And then of course I have a point layer and density layer. Density layer is quite useful to show hit map where the population with more cases and perhaps more deaths. Also, I thought of using a tree map chart to show the number of cases. And it's, it's quite useful because you can see counties with higher cases at the top, so you can focus on them. Also, if I move to the next sheet, I have similar buttons here. On the left hand side now, I'm seeing tabular data, so it's easier to see number of cases, number of deaths, and also 
mortality. What I notice is that in counties with less population, the number of cases are lower, but sometimes the mortality rate is higher. For example, this county, Terrell, so far is showing 165 cases with 17 deaths, and that's why the mortality rates higher there. You can see some of the other counties with the rate around 10 to 12 percent. Also, as expected, people with underlying conditions do have higher death rate. So even younger people with underlying conditions are vulnerable. I think the underlying conditions play a bigger role in number of cases and also number of deaths. So if a person is young but is having underlying condition, then that person is vulnerable to this deadly disease. This is a quick overview. Thank you for watching. And until next video, have a wonderful day.